Hey, this is Dead Random, and uh, I am at a reservoir. Uh, this is called Gunlock Reservoir uh, in southern Utah. And uh, this is an actual reservoir. You can see that there are you know, thousands and thousands of square feet uh, here of, uh, of water. Um, we've got people out kayaking. We've got a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, panorama here. And we're going to drone it in just a second. So here we go. Uh, Gunlock Reservoir with the Mavic 1 Pro. Okay, so Mavic Pro. Here we go. So it's Dad Random here, and I am at uh, Gunlock Reservoir. And as you can tell, this place is a magnificent place. I'm going to get this uh, this drone up, and I'm going to give us a complete, beautiful rundown of the entire shoreline and the uh, earthen dam that basically keeps uh, keeps this place full of water. But uh, it's coming up. It's coming up a little bit. Of course, the summer uh, uh, took uh, took the, its toll on this uh, on this waterway, and uh, and of course the winter. We hope uh, the snowpack is going to bring it back up. It's going to recover uh, for uh, for uh, next year. So uh, Utahns, we always look um, for uh, forward to winter because winter uh, brings us the snow, which creates our uh, our, uh, our snowpack which fills this reservoir. All right, here we go. Dad Random, Gunlock Reservoir, Southern Utah. Beautiful, beautiful day. There we go. Taking off. Looking out into our scenery. All right, here we go. Looks like I got the film on. I want to double check and make sure I am I am filming. Yes, I am. Okay. And I've got a good histogram. Drop it down just a little bit. And uh, here we go. ahead and take off and got it in filming mode today go ahead and switch my glasses out here and go to there we go now I'm going pretty slow and I'm uh, going upwind um, I might even, well, I might have to change speeds, but. <laughs> so far, so good. I've got this partly cloudy. I'm gonna go ahead and lock up my auto exposure. And I'm going into the sun right now. I'm, gonna, I'm really going to rely on my return trip for my best video. I don't want to go around the lake or the reservoir. Go ahead and tilt my camera down here. There we go so I can see that shoreline. And the clouds, of course, are giving, and the water is twinkly. It is going to be a really, really nice, picturesque flight. Got all those ripples. I'm um, staying fairly slow. Uh, I don't have a tremendous amount of battery today. I uh, only have about 88%, so I'm going to make sure I, I uh, make every ounce of this count go ahead out and here and enjoy the lake with the drone <laughs> now
Now, this the range is uh, in the location of uh, of my uh, my takeoff spot is is about as good as you can get. It's all it's uphill looking down. Um, and I should get just wonderful um, results. I'm gonna go ahead and turn in into the reservoir's containment area over by the dam. There we go, you can see that. Now there's a spill a spillover or a spillway up there. And when this thing fills up and that spillway starts to dump out, it creates a beautiful waterfall on the other side. It's been a while since we've been that full. And on this opposite side of this, of this dam here, there is a spillway, like I said, and uh, it goes to the, to the right-hand side of this little hill. And over the top of this is where I took that video that you're going to also see and I'm gonna go ahead and get up over this hill and I'm gonna look down. You can see over this over this spillway. And it's right over here. That's the spillway right below me, right down there. And that place is just a unbelievable uh, man-made waterfall when this thing lights up. There's that pond down there I'm showing you right down there. And, you know, this is where the, beep, or the bebop gets beat. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. And I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm going to do a little bit of, uh, little, uh, you know, a little zoom right there, which is something I can't do with the bebop. I cannot zoom that scene right there. Look at that. Look at that little pond down there. I'm going to zoom back out. I only got limited time today. I'm going to go ahead and punch it forward and then I'm gonna turn her around so I'm coming back with the wind I'm gonna get some more altitude here so I don't get lost behind that hillside there All right, there's some more water down there we just got a bunch of rain today so there's a little bit more water down there than normal go ahead and turn us around here go ahead and rotate and this is where I this is where my money shots are gonna come from this reverse side here Turn around. I'm gonna back out well, just a little bit, so you can see what I'm looking at down below there. There's that little tiny pond, and I can't see it as good as you, but the but we're getting we're getting some fall color at this time, and that is what is happening down below there. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch forward, and then as I come up the hill here, I'm gonna raise my camera. That's not raisin. It's the opposite way, isn't it? There's the spillway right there. And like I said, when that spillway starts running, oh man, this place is just lit. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a pass over the front of the dam right there. Everybody wants to see the mechanics of how this uh, this reservoir was formed. Once again, uh, this is where a drone pilot can be, become very useful. And uh, if I put a date on this video, which I will, um, a person will be able to determine the height of the reservoir and uh, do measurements. You could do site measurements. And say you were a naturalist and you were, uh, uh, or worked for the utilities, uh, you know, this would be a great resource. I'm gonna go ahead and turn over to the, to the rocks over here. Because this is where, like I said, this is where my money shots are going to be right here. I'm going to go on this beach right here and bring her on back. Go ahead and bring my camera up right there. There we go. Get a little bit of the panorama. Get a little bit of the uh, of the of skyline there come back and yes this is a beach uh, a lot of people will drive their cars back there and camp it's a great camping spot unbelievable camping spot 
very popular in the summer. Gets, you know, triple digits down uh, where I live, and this area is full of people enjoying it. Um, there was a fishing boat out there earlier, just a second ago. I was going to try to find that fishing. Bring it down a little bit. There we go. Just looking f to see uh, if I'm uh, still in focus, which I am. I've got all my uh, awesome uh, aids that this thing basically has to help you determine your focus, which is way cool. I want to come over and I want to I want to take a picture of these white rocks over here. Those are always just awesome. Get a nice square shot over the top there. So so nice. Getting a little bit of uh, random uh, cloud action here. So uh, by putting it on auto exposure, it sh uh, or excuse me, exposure lock. I shouldn't be getting any fluctuations. That's what I'm trying to try to do. So when I do my post-production, I can have some continuity. At 62% battery, I haven't uh, I haven't gone any further. I've been around about a, I haven't been any higher than about 200 feet most of the time here. So when I get to the back, I'm going to take a picture of what's behind me so you can see that. Now this is where I'm saying that, hey, why don't they mount a 360 camera on these things? What, you know, I think the next drone needs to have a 360 uh, degree camera field, so I don't miss all these shots I'm missing. Oh man, I'm missing so much. And I'm trying to keep my speed down. I'm trying, you know, of course I can't, you can't get everything, you know. Um, you can't be greedy. Let me go ahead and spin around here. You can't be greedy. There's the inlet right there. That's where the water comes washing down. There's several washes that come into here. That's the where the river comes in. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring my camera up just a hair so you get the, the mountain that I'm basically next to. I'm going to go ahead and move forward and do a, just a slow pan. You can see the volcanic cliff there. And of course I passed all that red rock. And this will be a fun video. I'm not gonna go much further. I mean, it's water, it's cool. I'm gonna get a little, I'm gonna definitely get an altitude shot here in a second. Just wanna get the shoreline and try to just pan slow. There we go. And not be too much of a rush here. Okay, now I'm pretty close to where I'm at. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get me in some sport, get me in sport mode. I am going to actually I'm going to take, a, take a shot there. I'm gonna punch it straight up. Get some altitude here. So people can see what I'm seeing. Drop that camera down. There we go. Get that shot right there. More altitude there. All right, there I'm at my 400 foot limit. Guys, don't need to go much higher than that. If I wanted to get a, a higher shot, I could. Without any doubt, I'm sandwiched in here. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'm trying to uh, um, making sure I do those things that we're supposed to do. Keeping uh, a good line of sight and making sure that I stay within my limits. Now the area I'm actually standing in is well above 2,000 feet. I believe I'm almost 4,000 feet where I'm up, where I'm standing right now. I live at about 2,600 feet, so it's about 2,000 feet above um, where I'm at. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring her home. Now I've got 50, I've got 50 percent battery right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and bring her back. Because I really have taken the shots I really wanted. Uh, I guess I'd go back this way here and, and uh, bring the camera up just enough so I don't get the glare of the. Oh, I get the look at that. I can get the, the shimmering of the water. Go ahead and get a 
speed shot there. I'm going 35 miles on this thing just hauls butt. Bring her down. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna push return the home. And I am gonna do that return the home over here because guys when I return the home I want to be above land and not above water. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna get over here. That's just a good practice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit return the home and bring her back. And I'm gonna at this time this is where I'm gonna stop my recording of my video. And what I love about this is as I do return to home, I can drop altitude. I'm gonna get down to, as I'm moving forward, which is always the best. So your drone is always working into, uh, into air. And I'm gonna go ahead and there we go. stop that recording. And here's when you can take, uh, if you want to take your still shots. Forty percent battery. Got plenty of battery, so I'm just gonna let her let her come home. Like I said I'm mostly above above land. Um, we should be in good shape. I do not want to do a droney. I want to do a helix and hit OK. I've got nice clear area. Hit go. at the drone. It's doing our helix here. Hey drone. Kind of a fun one. Hey. That's where I like to just walk around like I'm uh, like I like I'm important. <laughs> there we go. And it's uh, hey dad random here and Doing a little reconnoitering here at a, a spot that I just got done droning. Just awesome. Oh my gosh. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Holy Toledo. Oh my Lord. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is the first time I've ever seen this. This is brand new, live, and I'm not gonna show it to you yet because it's gonna be a surprise in my video. Guys, it's awesome. Totally awesome. Didn't know it was here, 25 feet off the road where I was basically filming. Guys, unbelievably amazing. Guys, it only happens when you get your butt outside, even on Sunday, and you look around, you check things out. Yes! Hey, this is Dan Random, and it's you that makes me better. So if you like a video, Give me some thumbs up. If you have a comment, please comment. That's something that never uh, anybody asks you for is comments. Guys, I love comments. And of course, subscribe. Guys, it's us, the subscribers. I subscribe to you, you subscribe to me, and of course, we uh, love each other's work. And that's what we're looking for, is community here. And Dad Ram supports the YouTube community. So like and subscribe, and always, yes! Thank you for all you do, the viewers and the likers. <laughs>